Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News at 3. And so the come snoring at night doesn't just drive your partner crazy. It might signal a serious problem for your brain. Plus, yes. well, how many times have you heard the phrase, take a big breath? It's a widely held habit that can actually be doing more harm than good. And you may actually be over-breathing, and it could be adversely affecting your health. Uh-oh, and here to explain is breathing expert and author Patrick McEwen. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. You're very Blue welcome. from Ireland I just today. Yes, thank we you appreciate very much. That. Well, tell us how incorrect breathing can affect our health. Sure. Um, it's Mouth breathing, for, ex for example, is, is endemic, um, both in children and in adults, uh, both during the day, also during sleep, um, and it pretty much wreaks havoc. The nose is responsible for about 30 functions in the human body. If you breathe through your mouth and if you breathe hard, there's less oxygen delivery to the cells. So you can influence your body oxygenation by breathing normally, and normal breathing is through the nose, light and quiet. And also how you breathe during the day impacts how you breathe during your sleep. Can we talk about snoring and sleep, yeah. sleep apnea and what yes. causes those? Um, if you think what is snoring, it's the exchange of a large volume through an hour of space. People who snore breathe hard. So what we want to do is we want to open up the nose, but we also want to bring down breathing volume. So there's breathing re-education, simple exercises that you practice during the day, and that helps reset the breathing center in the brain. And then your breathing is lighter during sleep. Really? And then opening up the nose, there are nasal dilators, for example, mute snoring, mm -hmm. that are there. If you look at my nostrils, they're asymmetrical, and it, you know, they're different sizes, mm -hmm. so I need to open up the airway. So there's little products you can use um, that you open up, you insert them into the nose, they open up the nose, and they make breathing easier. So it's a combination of both that helps reduce snoring. It's not like temporary, right? You can't put them up and you go to sleep and take them out or anything. Yeah, no, you put, they're you used to. during your sleep and then you take them out during okay. the day. So it's not, and it's also, it's really, I have to emphasize is the importance of nose breathing during sleep. If you have your mouth open, you're twice as likely to have sleep problems, including snoring and sleep apnea. Let's talk about